Hi, I'm Scotty. I service, repair and restore vintage and antique mechanical clocks. Welcome to Scotty's Clock World. This foreign clock movement has come in for service. I serviced and repaired it about three years ago. It's been running well up until the last month or two when the owners went overseas for three weeks and the clock didn't get wound. When they came back, they wound it up, put the hand round the back, flicked the pendulum leader uh, to get the uh, uh, movement working again. And they found it only worked for a small period of time and then it stopped. And that's an easy problem to fix on this model. This is a standard crutch and that's pallets, rather rusty, but that's pallets that sit on top of the escape wheel. This arbor here and the crutch are very tightly joined together so that if you make an adjustment on the crutch, it immediately affects the pallets in relation to the escape wheel. This is when you're trying to get it in beat. That's the standard setup on most clocks. However, in this German made movement, we turn it around. You can see the pendulum needed there and that's the crutch. And there's the pallets. However, in this model, the crutch is not firmly connected to that arbor. And if you push, I'll show you now, if you push the, the pendulum leader too far to one side, it just keeps moving and it doesn't move the pallets. So if you're hitting that hard to get the, the pendulum to start working, either that way or that way, there's no movement on the pallets and obviously it's going to stop. And that's what's happened. They've wound it up, given it a great whack like that to get the pendulum going. And it runs for about half a minute and then stops and they can't get it to go. So what we have to do is realign the crutch and the pendulum leader in relation to the pallets in there. So that's an easy fix. We just need to put that... Whoop. We just need to put that on a, on a test stand and then we can check it and see how it goes. Before we can set the movement up to test it, we have to make sure that it's on a perfectly flat level surface. I've got a bubble down here. You can see that that is level. What we're going to do now, come up higher, I'll put a steel rule across the top of the movement. Like so. Then we'll put a bubble level on it. And then adjust the movement until the bubble level is in the centre. And then mark where I have to drill a hole. Right, I'll take that off. I'll drill that hole, bolt the movement down, then I'll come back. I'll drill the hole, I'll bring the movement back, put the bolt in it, press it down, I'll put a nut on this side. I'll 
We'll tighten the movement down. Alright, we're ready to start testing the movement now. Put the pendulum bob on again. I'll put a time tracks bead amplifier on. Now to put the movement in beat, we'll lift one side and see when it cuts out and then lift to the other side so that's where it's in beat so we have to bring the leader and the crutch back in the opposite direction a little bit try it again Still not right. Better it's catching at the top. Seems to be a bit better. Right, I'll now wind up the movement so it works by itself. Then we'll listen to it again. I've now wound the movement up. Put the pendulum bob back on again. We've attached the sound amplifier, the beat amplifier. So we'll start looking. It's in beat, but it has to come back far out. We'll try that again. Over a little bit. Start the Getting close, but not there yet. That movement's now in beat. I'll leave it on the test stand and put it aside and we'll run it for a week to make sure it's right. Alright, I'll put that up on the, the bench now and I can stay there for a week or so.